How do you like the bright lights, I am? Oh, I love it. <laughs> well, what do you know about Indiana so far? And I guess Romeo is another guy like you who stayed home to play for his home school. What do you know about them? I mean, I know I watched the game. I don't know what year it is, but it's in our wall where we beat them. And um, uh, when it lay up, taking the ball out, and they had Victor Ladipo. But besides that, um, I know they're a good team. Guys get out in transition. Um, they have a, a lot of good players. And um, it'll be an exciting game. Do you know Romeo very well? I know you played Jordan Brand game together. I mean, we cool. Like, we just to see each other, but like we have the best friends. How much confidence did it give you uh, to come out and score the ball the other night? I mean, I just had to just, um, I was just in the gym a lot. Um, just keep, continue to keep working, trying to get better, better and better. I know it's going to be a long season, so you got to just stay level ahead and just keep working. Had, had you personally been through a stretch right, like that where you hadn't really gotten it going scoring wise in your career? I mean, yeah. When I was a sophomore, I was playing varsity with Morgan Park when I first got there. I mean, it was a, a, a kind of struggle for me to, to get going. But the one thing I know about myself is once I figure it out, I was like a skyrocket. So um, I'm just trying to get better and better each day, keep watching film, um, keep working on my game, trying to improve. Do you feel like you figured it out with the FAU game, or did it happen before you still working on it, really figuring it out? I mean, at the end of the day, I still always get better and better each day. So I'm trying to get better and better each day, I'm trying to continue to work, continue to look, um, like I said, watch film, um, study what I did wrong, um, trying to pick up the um, stupid files, and just trying to get better and better. After a couple of tough losses, what's been uh, the talk in the locker room, the mindset of the team going back into Big Ten play? Next one, New Year, 0-0, 2019. Going back into the conference play, is, do you feel like you're a little more ready for it after having two big games in December and plus bragging rights and all that? I mean, of course, um, we're about, what, 12 games in, so technically I'm not a freshman anymore. So at, we have to just come out and just play. What did you maybe learn about the, the Big Ten just in those two December games? It's physical, very physical. Um, a lot of the big, they, they big. Even the wings, they just stronger. So you can't just beat them with, with one move. You got to have counter moves. You got to um, do a lot of different moves to get around them. You got to be smart. Did that Nebraska environment, that experience, kind of help prepare you for, for tomorrow at Indiana? Yeah, of course. I mean, I played in a big environment before, but that was like my first Big Ten game. So, of course, me getting that under my belt is going to help me prepare for tomorrow. No one's going to be a packed crowd. Uh, you played with great guards in the past, Charlie Moore, Adam Miller. Uh, what's the key to you and Trent get on the same page at the same time, both get going in the same game? I mean, we we, we trying to figure it out. Um, in practice every day, we, we push each other. Um, we play off each other great. Um, we work hard, so at the end of the day, the basketball guys reward us because the hard work we put in. Um, that's all I can say. Is that something you guys talk about a lot? Is that what conversations you guys have right now you know, between the two? Yeah, I mean that's one of my best friends. So of course, we noticed that we haven't been um, had really games where we both are at our best. So that's what we're striving for. I mean, we're striving, trying to be the best we can be, and um, we've got to just work harder. So I just told him, let's try to get going on de defensively, get out of transition, get each other going. Um, get our team going, and then um, when we get going, it'll it, it be easier to, you know, when they double us to kick it out, get other players their shots and the shots they make and the shots they can take, then we throw it inside the Georgia. You guys done anything different in practice to try and spark that? <clears throat> Maybe playing against each other or playing with each other more or anything different? I mean, we trust Coach Underwood. Um, he's the head of the ship, so of course, whatever he has doing in practice, we just come out and compete. And we just come out and try to play as hard as we can. We know that, I mean, when you have two good guards or two good players, it really never, they never they immediately just jail. Like, you got to find out what each other's weaknesses are or where where he needs the ball, where I need the ball. I mean, that's something we learn. learning. So um, we got to just keep learning, try to keep trying to study each other, keep trying to get better and better. Does having that close off-the-court relationship make this transition a little easier and maybe a little less frustrating with some of the, the on-the-court issues? I mean, yeah. Um, I don't. I wouldn't say it's frustrating because, like I said, I know what we can do. I know we do in practice. I know several times we did it. We just got to be able to showcase it in, in the game. But um, me and Trent, uh, we trying to. We just trying to focus on getting the win. How we can do it. If I score zero points, he scores zero points. We get the win. We happy that way. When you hit the game tying three at the end of regulation, 
how confident were you in taking that shot? And what does it do for you going forward just to have that kind of moment? I mean, it's one of the big shots that I, I like to take. Um, I like um, my favorite player, Kobe, Kyrie. You know, they have that mentality. So I just felt like right there in that time, that was going to make the shot, take the shot. And I know it's more than just points, but what would tell you that you and Trent are doing better at uh, creating that chemistry on the court? What's the indication to you that you guys are both doing what you need to do? What do you mean? Well, is it just balanced scoring more, or, or what are the other indications that you, know, you guys are trying to work on there? I mean, we got to just finish games off. Like, we lost about five games this year where we didn't finish off. I mean, like, it's unacceptable you have um, two good guards, and not just us two, but like as a team we have. Like, we have to be able to finish games off. When we have when four minutes left in the game, it's a four-point game, five-point game. We have to be able to come together and, and rally up the truth and say, all right, Lou, this we going to do to get this game off. I feel like we have been um, failing at that this time. Because at the end of the day, that's that's what it comes down to. Last four minutes of the game, we lost about maybe five games this year like that. Or like in a seven-minute mark. Coach talked about the little things on offense. Now that you can kind of evaluate that <laughs> FAU game, what did you guys see offensively that well, that went wrong there? Um, I feel like offensively, we held them 22 points in the first half, but we only scored 26. But I feel like we got complacent for getting the second half. But offensively, we have just got to cut harder. We have to cut harder and move the ball faster and um, just try to get people shots open. Is it just the little things that you just feel like you're right there to, to kind of take in that step? Or is it... Yeah, of course. I mean, like I said, we lost in, what, five, six games where like we either up in the second half or the last seven minutes we were on a drought. So we got to just learn how to finish games off. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir.